daytime, I knew really nothing about, only because I basically was working all the time during the day. And what time I did have was, uh, was trying to take care of three children and that sort of thing. But I never got caught in that. I had been caught as a child with my mother, Stella Dallas, the radio. Now, I want to tell you, or my gal Sunday, you married Lord so-and-so, and she came to the little mining town in whatchamacallit. And I, I remember, I remember, and, and I was third grade, yeah, third grade. I, want, I wanted to play sick because Stella Dallas was having this big fight. <laughs> now, you have to remember, you, you sit in a chair and you listen to a radio. What great imagination when they say green. There's a thousand colors of green, but your TV up here is working on that green. If they leave in a huff in your imagination, you imagined how they left in a huff. That was my, that was my, my hook to daytime, was through radio as a, as a child. Televised, I never, because they're so busy doing basically you know, uh, the NBC um, you know um, uh, afternoon uh, stuff that uh, I just didn't get into daytime so my agent said uh, the first the first daytime uh, that somebody was considering me for and it was a new show and they said um, do you want to go out and read for it and I said, well, no, not really, because I'm busy. That was a thing that uh, Susan Seaforth Hayes and her husband are now on. Days of our lives, of course. And that was the closest I ever thought about daytime. Uh, so my agent said, a John Conboy would like to see you. I said, who is John Conboy? He said, well, he's a producer of a show called The Young Lewis. It's a daytime show. I said, oh, I, go on. I guess I'll go out and see him, of course, you know. And I think they were at Warner Brothers at the time when they were seeing people. One of the offices there, yeah, with P Patricia Winnie, bright, bright woman, lovely woman. And so I went out to to read, and here is this handsome, dynamic man, and here is this this woman who you would think ran a pastry shop in Carmel, California, kind of thing. And I'm looking at them, saying, "This is daytime, okay." And he is saying thank you for coming out, and uh, we know you have a busy schedule, but uh, we have this part, and uh, you've been looking at it out. And I said yes. And they had another man called uh, was it Considine? Constantine, Constantine was reading. And uh, they said all right, any time. And we started to read, and of course it called for great tears and what have you, which I said that's easy to do. Throw yourself into it. And all of a sudden, you're doing this scene with this person, and it's very sad. And then you lament with the with with the woman, and uh, it finished. And I look up, and these two people are crying. <laughs> I thought, was I that bad? <laughs> it must have been god awful. And uh, he said, that was beautiful. And she said, yes, it's very good, very good. Um, have you ever, ever, you've never done, no, I've never, no. Have you ever seen the, I've, no, I've never seen the show before. He said, well, all right, uh, thank you very much, and uh, I, I'm, I'm sure we're going to be in touch. And that was my introduction to daytime with John Conboy and Patricia Winnie. And yes, of course, they wanted me to do it, which I checked out at first. I took my kids and we went to Hawaii, and every time they wanted an answer, I said, another island. I said, I'll let you know tomorrow. Finally, they found me on Kauai with the kids, and my agent said, they want an answer now, and John Conboy was on the other line. <laughs> I said, we need an answer today. I said, oh, all right. When do I have to be there? And he said, tomorrow afternoon. And got red eye in and came in, and I went to rehearsal that following day. And that's how I was introduced to uh, daytime television and uh, John Conboy, who was master, master at it, as was Patricia Winnie. 
uh, Bill Glenn, Dick Dunlap. But I only plan to stay maybe a year or two years. And of course, 36 years later, I'm still saying I only plan to be in a year or two years. But my character was brought into the series because Bill Bell and his wife, Lee Bell, who created the series, Bill was not happy, it was not making numbers. And at that time, a studio would nurture, would nurture a, a, a show and say, give it time, it'll grow, it's what daytime, you, we have to bring that character in. That's why she, she was brought in. I said, give that character you have, Mrs. Chancellor, bring her in. Let's see, add that to the mix. Let's see what the audience thinks, blah, 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 blah. And Bill was convinced because he was ready to yank it. And um, Mrs. Chancellor caught on. And um, it's, that's the story of YNR from that point on and all the other people who have joined it on and off during the years. Uh, it's very satisfying because what daytime has done, daytime has brought to a public one entertainment, but one of the most important things, it's given them all different kinds of choices of medical problems and a lot of them solved through it. A lot of them helped buy it. It's been just as helpful as it has been entertaining and just an escape for an hour. It's the most difficult medium I have media I have ever done in my life. It is backbreaking. You have to be on your toes. It's like you are doing um, improv if every hour of your, of, of your life. It's incredible. It's momentary. Your feelings are momentary. They have to be caught. You have to be captured in a camera. You have to know tech, technique technology, it's the old thing of head up, suck in your gut, stick out your boobs, and act. And not let anyone know you're doing any of, the, of those things. It's, uh, it's an incredible thing. Incredible, demanding, and most rewarding. I think I, 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 my choice, this was my destiny.